guys, it's Abby from Make Life a Runway, and I'm here in my weekly makeup basket. Ooh. If you're curious to see a couple thoughts on last week's products and what we're going to select for this week, then just keep watching. Here we go. Hey, y'all. It's my normal attire, full face makeup, gym clothes. <laughs> I'm going to go teach a class in a couple of hours, and... Uh, I, I know I won't sweat much and then I have to train clients so I'm like why not get glam so my face right now is all drugstore this is drugstore month here on my channel Ooh. Uh, so last or this week Wednesday you hopefully you saw the makeup organizational video where we pulled all my drugstore traditional drugstore makeup products out of my full collection and sat them to the side to make a new collection that's what we're gonna be shopping and I have a pretty good bit of traditional drugstore. When I say traditional drugstore, I mean Maybelline, L'Oreal, Elf, Morty, <laughs> Physicians Formula, stuff that you can walk into CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, Target, Walmart, Meyer, whatever, and buy. I know there are brands that are sold at those stores that are exclusive to the stores, so I didn't include them like uh, Flower Beauty or anything like that, Essence. Uh, yeah, that will be like in a different themed month, but it's traditional drugstore this week. So for the most part, that is what's on my face. The only exception to that is palette of the month because I don't really have a full face drugstore palette except uh, this Catrice one, and I don't consider Catrice traditional drugstore, so that's the only exception. But it is what I have as far as bronzer right here. And then contour, I did deepen a little bit right here. I mixed the two blushes together and then my highlighter is this. So I have been enjoying this for the week as far as palette of the month goes. And then my eyes, y'all, <laughs> I pulled out the NYX Advent Pop, Pop. This one is a Nuvio Chic. I've had this thing for so long and I don't remember loving it as much as I loved it this week. You can see like dips I mean it, it had a little a little dippage to begin with but I really added dips especially in these two colors this color so on my lids today this is in my upper crease this is in my inner crease and then on my lid is actually the L'Oreal infallible and ice latte um, these I think you can get on Amazon but I don't think they're sold in stores anymore uh, but yeah I I really 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 love this this week so this might get pulled again we'll see but yeah that's that's what's happening on my eyes and i love it obviously there's eyeliner on there on my lips is the uh color reach 906 i said i had pulled this because i always talk about how much i love it but i haven't actually used it in a while and it was pretty much the only lip color i used all week and i did still love it still love it and oh and concealer the concealer i'm wearing today oh this color is so good like it's just like a shade lighter so it brightens everything but it's the covergirl uh true blend concealer and this one's in classic ivory and i love it i love it a lot i was just watching um jasmine from juicy jazz's covergirl video and she was talking about their loose setting powder and how she thought it might be good for dry skin and I think I might buy that at the end of the mar month when we uh, have a break in the no-buy. But anyways, cover girl, easy, breezy brow. Yeah, that's what's on my eyes, my eyebrows. And this one is in light. So love everything that's happening here. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as what I pulled last week. I do want to bring up one discussion topic before we switch gears to Shopping Stash. Alex here on YouTube, One Beauty Addict, posted on her Instagram last night that ABH is relaunching their Glow Palette with uh, Nicole Guerrero. And I'm, I'm curious. I feel like the climate here on YouTube has shifted so much since the first time that came out. Um, I do think the palette will sell out again. I don't think that's a question. My question is, who do you think is going to buy it this time? Do you think it's people who bought it the first time and they've hit pan and they want to restock on it? Do you think it's going to be people who missed it the first time around and they're going to go ahead and grab it the second time around? Or do you think maybe it's like a new wave of people who maybe weren't into YouTube and makeup when it came out are going to jump on it. 
Are you going to jump on it? I'm like, the hype makes me want it, but I've been so into drugstore and more affordable makeup because that palette is $40. You think about affordable makeup, you could get like, not a full face of makeup, but you could get like a new blush bronzer highlight or you could get a new primer foundation powder or you could get new eyeshadow eyeliner mascara for that price like you could get like a quarter of a face of makeup for the price of just some highlighters so the hype makes me want it but that price point i'm like i just want it because that hype and that hype is 40 dollar cost to me like i think i'm good but I'm curious, are you guys going to jump on it or where are you at with it? How do you feel about it? I just think the climate here on YouTube has changed so much, especially from us OG watchers uh, who've been watching for, you know, close to 10 years. Uh, we have kind of scaled back as a community on consumerism. I know everyone that I watch here on YouTube for the most part has, um, but yeah, I'm just... I'm just curious. It's like a whole new YouTube since she launched that, and that was just a few years ago. Discussion. Let me know down below. But all right, let's shop our curated drugstore collection. If you saw Wednesday's video, you saw the whole process of me selecting this, organizing it, and all of that. So check out that video if you missed it. But like I said, this is all of the makeup I own that is what I call traditional drugstore. So I do want to put back some of these items from last week. Um, and we'll keep the palette of the month in the basket. Okay, so I am panning drugstore items and I did show those uh, last week so I'm not going to show them every week um, so if you're curious you can check out last week's and I am pretty committed to my project pan items because I'm seeing a lot of progress but I do want to still explore and have fun with this uh, makeup basket so let's go ahead and pull out one of my favorites I have uh, a few drugstore videos coming out this month that are going to be like Holy Grail Drugstore, that are going to be Recommended Drugstore, Get Ready With Me Drugstore. So you'll hear me talk more detail about what my favorites are and why they're my favorite. But just a spoiler, this is a Holy Grail for me. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 202. I could get rid of, not get rid of, but use up <laughs> all of my foundations. And then when I go to repurchase... I honestly could just repurchase this and be pretty good to go. <laughs> but this one is in 202 Creamy Natural, and you can see there's not a ton left in it. So uh, this is one that I refuse to pan because I'll just have to go repurchase it. So I might as well enjoy my ride with it. But we will pull that. And I do have other foundations through Project Pan sitting to the side. But we'll just kind of integrate it in. And then as far as concealers, I am panning a couple of concealers, but they're kind of dark for me, so I need like a lighter shade to mix them with. And I don't have a lot of drugstore store concealers. I just really have, I mean, I guess maybe it's a lot more than some people, but <laughs> I don't have like a lot of selection. So if you watch every week, you see I end up having to pull like the same things every week. But I think what I want to do is, go back to the newer one which is the elf hydrating camo concealer um jessica braun just did a video of drugstore makeup and she talked about this mine is in light peach i think it's a good color i really like it i think it's light to medium coverage um very hydrating you definitely need to set it but i love this so we will pull that um as far as primer goes I am panning a primer, but this one's kind of calling my name. This is the Revlon Photo Finish Perfecting Primer. And this is, okay, so funny. I looked at this one in the store for years, and I just never heard anyone talk about it. And this is more on the pricier side for drugstore. It's like closer to like $11 or $12. And as soon as I heard uh, Jessica Braun talk about it, I'm like, yep. I bought it and it is really nice so we'll pull that for the week um I have a setting powder and I'm just gonna 
that's in my project pan and we're just gonna stick with that one because I really want to finish it okay <laughs> all right so that is everything for face as far as um like base I guess you could say for lips ooh, ooh. y'all know I love my Maybellines ooh hey girl oh I love Milani ooh, some more elf Discontinued stuff. Ooh, let's go discontinued. Let's pull. This is a Maybelline Hot Vivid Lacquer. I'm sure you could still get this on Amazon. Hello. This uh, Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer is in Charmer. It is discontinued in the stores, but I'm sure you could still find it on Amazon. It was such a good formula. It is such a good formula. I don't know why they discontinued it, but we will pull that for lips for the week. And I do want to grab out maybe something else. Let's just go with this. I love this. This is uh, Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink 100 Philosopher. It's a cool tone purple. Y'all, I say it every time I talk about these. You will end your day before this <laughs> ends its day. Like, you need to go in like an oil based makeup remover to get this off your lips the normal stuff is not gonna work eating's not gonna work it's like so amazing i absolutely love it so we'll pull that um eyes i don't have like a huge i really thought i had more drugstore eyeshadows but turns out they're mostly ColourPop, like as far as like that affordable range um so i don't have a lot and I did really love the NYX Avent Pop, but I want to do this experience with a Drugstore Makeup Justice by at least going through everything. So this is the NYX Ultimate uh, Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. I love this. This is, I've had it for a couple of years, but it is still available. And it's just so nice because the tones are so similar. You can just keep building up your eyeshadow look and get a very warm deep uh i was gonna say vibrant but not very vibrant just very beautiful <laughs> eyeshadow look and these colors and formula are really nice i really enjoy it i will say the shimmers um don't perform super great like they're not very pigmented they're kind of a light wash of color unless you put like a base under them or really take time to pack them on so I am going to pull this, and I think what would go well with it is this Old School um, Infallible by L'Oreal. And this is the classic dun, 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 Amber Rush. Ooh, This is definitely a one-and-done shadow. It's beautiful, but I think the brown tone of it would uh, be a nice replacement to the shimmers in here. Ooh, oh, I want to redo my makeup right now. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I am sticking true to my um, my palette of the month. So this, all of this over here, you're mo you will more so see in um, videos of me talking about drugstore makeup. Um, I think uh, I don't know. I like I want to stay true to my palette of the month. Oh yeah. Guys, like this broke earlier, this alligator clip when I was doing my makeup, and it flew across the room, and I didn't know where it went until just now. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel okay sticking with my palette, but these are just like my bronzers, blush, highlighters. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, as I look at my basket, I'm like, I think there's a couple more things I want to add. I want to grab this e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I've been wanting for a while to try it just under my eyes, uh, to prime under my eyes before doing, well, I guess this under my eyes and then the primer over the rest of my face and then put foundation on and concealer, but I've been really interested to see if I would like it like that. And I'm pretty sure this might be one people have mentioned like to put in the fridge and then put on, on under, under the eyes. Whew, talking's hard today. So, okay, I do want to pull that. And I think that's realistically it because, you know, I, sh I change this out every week and I have a huge basket of Project Pan items. So, let me just show you what we have selected out. 
Okay, here is our basket for the week. This basket is just from Target, but we have our palette of the month. And then we have these powders that just live in my makeup basket. I know they're not drugstore, but they're just kind of holy grails. And then this is also Revolution, which I wouldn't consider a tr traditional drugstore brand, but it, that's also a go-to holy grail palette for me. So we'll just ignore those three for now. Um, so our palette of the month, our NYX palette for the week with the single eyeshadow. Uh, MAC Painterly is my eyelid primer. I don't have another one on hand. The two primers right here, the foundation, and then the uh, lips are in here with the concealer. And I will just show you real quick. Here are all the Project Pan items. So if you're like, wow, there's not a lot in there, they're all, <laughs> they're all in here. So drugstore, uh, foundation and primers and all that so that's kind of where the missing pieces are but that's everything oh my gosh it's so short and sweet but I love it because every time I do this kind of makeup organizational video and it is open to you guys I would love if you wanted to commit to doing drugstore makeup with me just let me know in the comments what drugstore makeup you've pulled out of your collection that's how you just kind of join in um, but it's just a nice experience, an experiment to pull a, some part of your collection that maybe is neglected a lot and just get some love out of it. And also, I find personally, it strikes so much new inspiration. Like, I'm already so much more excited about drugstore makeup than I was a few weeks ago um, before I pulled all this out. And now I'm like, dang, what else is at the drugstore? Or what have I been neglecting in my collection? So definitely a fun experiment. And I will say this portion of my collection, with the exception of some of these like elf, or sorry, wet and wild, uh, sticks in that elf stick, um, not much of it is neglected. And I feel good about that. But anyways, I'm rambling now. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know. Uh, about the discussion question about that glow palette and let me know if you are going to be loving drugs or makeup this week thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye